Miss Teen USA was recently crowned over the weekend, and of course, with almost every beauty pageant that occurs here in the United States, there's some sort of racial issue behind the scenes. Now, this racial issue has to do with uh, Carly Hay of Texas, who was crowned Miss Teen USA, and her social media account, specifically Twitter, where three years ago she started tweeting um, a racial slur that's getting her into some trouble today. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to let you guys look at it. I'm just not going to read the crap. Uh, the stuff that's blurred out is the N-word. So you kind of get a sense of what she wrote. Now, so uh, for those of you who just uh, uh, listen to the show and don't, don't watch it, oh, yeah, um, that's, true. That, that's okay. She yeah. just ended almost all the sentences with the N-word. It didn't, there's no other context to it. It wasn't like, oh, in that context it makes sense. Yeah. And and it's blacked out, but uh, you should know it. She ended all the words with er, not a. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like, oh, I was just listening to too much Ice Cube, and so I was just calling all my friends the N word. Right. I would have liked her to try that excuse. Yeah. Anyway, no, no, it it was er, and she wrote it out in all those sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me give you some more context. Uh, these tweets went out in 2013 and 2014. She's 18 years old now, which means she started, you know, tweeting these things at 15 and 16. Look, I'm not making excuses for her at all. Like, that word is unacceptable. But here's another thing that I just want to make clear. It's shocking how many states are okay with the use of that word. Like, like every time I go to Florida, like people use that word like it's nothing, and it's amazing to me, right? So we we are in a liberal bubble, and yes, uh, and so not a lot of people go around uh, in those bubbles being like, "Hey, what's up?" N word. <laughs> it would be like in our context. It just it would sounds be ignorant. Shocking. It's not even. It's not, aside from being offensive, which it is, right? It just sounds ignorant as hell. Like every time I hear that word used in a weird context, like she used it there. Like it's just another word. I don't understand. You sound dumb. You just sound dumb more than anything. I know, uh, but it's not just uh, southern states. Uh, look, you go play basketball with young kids, mixed races, and uh, I haven't done it in a while. But back when I uh, used to play with, you know, pick up ball, I don't know, five years ago, whatever, uh, people are using it all the time. So I, I, I don't want to seem like we're shocked to find out there's gambling in this establishment, <laughs> no, I right? Know, I know. So. Um, and and she says, look, she would have been better off saying like, oh, I was just calling out my friends that because of popular music or whatever. All kidding aside, but she didn't. She was like, oh, yeah. I, let me tell you what her yeah. response was. She said several years ago, I had many personal struggles. Remember, she's 15 and 16. I don't know what your personal struggles are as a gorgeous white girl in Texas. But anyway, several struggles and found myself in a place that is not representative of who I am. As a person, I admit that I have used language publicly in the past which I am not proud of and that there is no excuse for. Through hard work, education, and thanks in large part to the sisterhood that I have come to know through pageants, I am proud to say that I am today a better person. You know what she's saying at the end there? There's a lot of black girls in this pageant too and we're not friends so it's okay. The that would be disastrous. The pageants. Look, no, that's in essence what she's saying there. But uh, yeah, okay. You, that's not a great excuse. I was in a bad place in my uh, in, in my life, so I used to call people the N word all the time. Anyway, uh, but overall, I'm with you. She was young. A lot of young people use it. What we're trying to get tell you is, don't. It makes you look stupid, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not it's saying it's a weird thing where we're looking out for the people who are, you know, who we should have no allegiance to or look out for. But we are. I know you know a lot of them. Right wingers won't believe it, but we're trying to help you. You sound really asinine when you use that word. Yeah, and uh, again, I'm not trying to make excuses for her, but I also don't think it makes sense to like tear her down and ruin her life. Like, I mean, I don't. Thankfully, you know, I didn't have to worry about the internet as much when I was a teenager. But I said stupid things. I didn't go around throwing the N word around. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm sure I said things that were super offensive. My political views were super offensive compared mm -hmm. to who I am today. Right, so I wouldn't want that to come back and haunt me. Thank God I wasn't tweeting at 15. Oh my God, if there was Twitter when I was 15.